to Rec at Home, brought to you by the Community Recreation Division of Arlington Parks and Rec. My name is Miss Emily, and this week's theme is Happy Holidays! If you're ready to play, let me hear Happy Holidays! Great. Let's get started. Today's fun fact is about Halloween candy. Did you know Americans purchase 600 million pounds of candy each year on Halloween? That's equal to six Titanics. That's a lot of candy. This week's activity is Holiday Minute to Win It Games. So we're gonna play three games today, all using items you probably have in your home. All you'll need to play today are 20 plastic cups in one color, one plastic cup in a different color, one spoon, two bowls, and six ping pong balls. Today we have three expectations. Our first expectation is try your best. That means try every activity at least once and have a great time. Our second expectation is be safe. Make sure your area is clear aside from a table or whatever surface you're going to use to complete the activities. Our third expectation is be kind to others. So make sure you share with anyone who's playing with you. You ask whoever's in your house if they want to play with you and you play at a medium to low inside voice. Today we're playing Holiday Minute to Win It Games. So the first question is, what is a Minute to Win It game? Minute to Win It games are games you play with a 60 second time limit. So if you're playing alone, you can time yourself and keep score and then see how fast you get better and better or you can add more items to make the game harder. If you're playing against someone else, you can play against each other in those 60 seconds and see who can complete the most repetitions in 60 seconds or who can finish the fastest in 60 seconds or less. The best thing about these activities is that you can play as many times as you want. In this video, we're gonna play a couple of rounds of each activity, but you can play whenever you want as many times as you want. Game one, Jack-O-Lantern Stack Attack. Our first activity is called Jack-O-Lantern Stack Attack. For this activity, you will need 15 to 21 cups of any color, depending on how hard you wanna make the activity. The reason this game is called Jack-O-Lantern Stack Attack is because I have designed my cups to look like jack-o-lanterns. The goal of this game is to stack the cups in five or six tiers, depending on how many cups you have, and have it stay standing in 60 seconds or less, and then unstack all of the cups. All right, my stack of 21 cups is ready, and I'm ready to play. Make sure you have 15 or 21 cups in your stack and a surface to stack them on. Are you ready to go? Perfect. 60 seconds on the clock. Ready, set, go! Now it's your turn. We're going to put 60 seconds on the clock and it's your turn to stack the cups. Ready, set, go. up the snowball. Our second game is scoop up the snowball. For this game you're going to need two small cups, a spoon, 
and six ping pong balls or other round objects like marbles or cotton balls. The goal of this game is to get all six of your ping pong balls from one bowl into the other without dropping them. The trick is you have to get the ping pong balls from one bowl to the other with a spoon in your mouth like this. So to practice how this game is played, take your spoon, put it between your teeth and pick up one ball and try to move it to the other bowl. Just like that. One way to make this easier or harder is to put them closer together, which is easier, or further apart, which is harder. Usually when you play this game, you sit or kneel. If you want to make it harder, you can stand and play. The number of ping pong balls or round objects also makes this easier or harder. Six ping pong balls is difficult. So you may want to start with three or four. If your ball drops off of your spoon, you can pick it up with your hands and put it back into the bowl and start over. If you guys are ready to play, say, I'm ready. I don't know, I didn't hear you. Are you ready? Awesome. Okay, ready, set, go. it's your turn. We're going to put 60 seconds on the clock and it's your turn to scoop the snowballs. Ready, set, go. down your spoons. Now on to our next game. Game three, light the firework. Our third game today is called light the firework. For this game, you're gonna need 21 cups, 20 of one color, and one of another color. To make this game easier or harder, you can add less cups or more cups of this first color. So make sure your stack of 21 or more or less cups has the one different color on the top. The goal of the activity is to take the top cup, put it on the bottom of the stack, and continue doing that over and over and over until this orange cup is at the top of the stack again, and then your firework gets to light up the sky. Pretty simple, right? Are you ready to try with me this time? All right, get your cups ready. Ready, set, go. Now it's your turn. We're gonna put 60 seconds on the clock and it's your turn to stack the cups. Ready, set, go.
five, four, three, two, one. Cups down. Like I said, the best part about these games is you can play over and over and over again. So even if that first try was hard, you're gonna get better and better. And now for our daily challenge. Today's challenge is to make a minute to win it activity out of some household chores. Ask your parents what things they could challenge you to do in a minute. How many dishes can you wash in a minute? How many toys can you clean up off the floor in a minute? Can you make your bed in a minute? Try it out and have some fun while helping around the house. Thanks for playing with me this week. I hope you learned a few fun new games that you're gonna play over and over and over again. Have a great Tuesday.